Hey guys, today's video is going to be a GoPro groom tack up lunge and ride with me video and I'm going to be doing a voiceover throughout these clips. That way it'll be more interesting and I can kind of explain what I'm doing. So as you can see here, this is pretty obvious, I'm getting Sunshine's halter on. And then we headed over to start our grooming routine. So the first thing I do is I go over her with a hard um, wire curry brush and it just gets off all the hard bits of mud and all the heavy dirt. But she actually wasn't too dirty today, so our grooming routine went pretty fast. Well, a lot faster than it does when she's really dirty, of course. And this is my brother, he's checking to make sure the GoPro is still working. And then I use a medium stiffness hard brush and I just go over her whole body with this and it kind of just gets all the dirt that the curry brush missed and really cleans things up and makes her look nice and it also whiffs off some of the loose hairs because she's also shedding right now and it just kind of finishes everything off. Once we're done with that brush, I grab her mane and tail brush and brush out her mane and tail. And this is me doing it super fast because it would be boring to make you watch it at normal speed. Then once I'm finally done brushing, I grab my favorite hoof pick and pick out her hooves. Just make sure there's no rocks and just pick out the mud and get them all cleaned up. Then once I'm done picking all four of our hooves, um, it's time to get tacked up. So we start with our saddle pad, duh, and I always brush it off to make sure there's nothing on it that's going to poke her or be uncomfortable. Then I grab my saddle and pop it on, and I always pull up the saddle pad where the withers are. That way the pad isn't pressing down on the withers and making things uncomfortable. And I'm kind of just tacking her up. These clips, I guess, explain themselves. Then I popped on her protective boots because we're going to do some lunging and stuff just for some extra protection because we don't do this every day, but today I felt like we should, so we did. Then I clipped on Sunshine's lunch line and we headed out to practice some lunging. And this is a clip of me trying to untangle my messy lunge line as Sunshine waits patiently. So we started with just walking to get started and get her warmed up. Then I had her pick up a little trot. She did so good today on the lunge line. I am very proud of her. Like this trot, it's her head's down, she's very relaxed, and it's the perfect speed. Here Sunshine does a pretty little change of directions and this is a big improvement because she used to like to spook and bolt off once she had changed directions and was going the other way. She would want to do all kinds of silly stuff but as you can see here from this clip she is doing it beautifully.
Then we moved on and did some cantering, and oh my goodness, I am very proud of her. So Sunshine would get used to get very excited when she would canter on the lunge line, but as you can see from this clip, she was doing it gorgeous and did a canter to walk transition, which is amazing for Sunshine because she used to get very excited to canter, and there's no way she was going to walk as calmly as this after cantering, but as you can see, she's doing so good and I was just so proud of her I had to go and give her some scratches and some kisses and tell her what a good pony she is And then we ended on that because it was so good and we headed back into the pen to finish getting tacked up And as you can see I'm getting sunshine's bridle on Then we complete our tacking up with the martingale and I clip it to this little piece of leather because the martingale is a little too short for sunshine so that makes it longer and I just adjust the reins and make sure nothing's twisted and everything's good to go. Then I tighten her girth and notch because after all the lunging it's usually looser and then I always stretch both of her front legs forward that way the skin under the girth isn't bunched up and that way there's no pinching. Then I lead my little pony out to the mounting block, which is just a bucket turned upside down, and we get mounted up. So we started our ride with some walking, and here you can see Sunshine is very interested in this pala mulch. So it was something new that she hadn't seen yet, and she was very curious. And she did shy a little bit, but after she's seen it a few times, she was fine. But I just think her little ears are so cute. She's so curious. So something I like to work on while we're just walking along like this is I try to practice keeping my hands down and keeping them firmly down. I know that sounds pretty simple, but it's actually a bit of a challenge for me because sunshine can be a bit of a head thrower sometimes. And she likes to pop her nose up and it pulls my hands forward. So I have to practice keeping my hands firmly down. That way when she tries popping her nose, she doesn't pull my hands forward and get away with it. Because when my hands are firmly down and she tries to pop her nose, she's just pulling on herself and she doesn't get away with it. So within a few tries of that, she'll just stop it and she's good for the rest of the ride as long as I keep my hands firmly down. Um, so I've been practicing that. It's kind of hard for me because I get really relaxed when I'm riding and I'll just kind of be relaxed with her and she'll suddenly throw her nose up or something because she's a little pony and likes to play that game sometimes. But I've been getting a lot better at it. And here we had another little spook. So my dad had filled in some potholes in the path with some dirt and it wasn't quite leveled off. So that was apparently scary. But I just patted her to tell her everything was okay and she was fine. Then after we did quite a bit of walking, I had her pick up a pretty little trot. And then we had to ride back to the tack room and get the other GoPro because the GoPro I had been using, the battery went dead. So we got our GoPro switched out again for the one that was fully charged. And she just did a pretty little walk to trot. Yeah, walk to trot transition. That went very nicely. And now we're just doing another little working trot. 
And then here she was thinking about spooking at a pile of junk in the woods, but she decided not to. Such a good pony. And then we kept that trot for quite some time. I sped the video up so it doesn't take as long, but I was just working on keeping my rhythm because sometimes I like to post really fast and then really slow, especially up and down hills. So I was working on keeping myself steady. So we're still trotting, and I don't know if you can tell from the video clip, but I was practicing posting bigger with my hips. That way she would do like an extended trot. So the goal is for her to just take a bigger steps at the trot, and not really trot faster, but just take a bigger steps and do an extended trot. walked for a while and ran into my parents on the full weller so we stopped to say hi. I thought this was kind of funny. This is me looking at the GoPro very confused because I had to take my helmet off to make sure it was on. And here we're just practicing a little bit of sitting trot. And I guess today was kind of, we kind of like practiced our dressage basically today. So that's kind of what I do. I just ride around my field and practice dressage. And because we really don't have an arena. So I just practice everything around our field. Then we headed back and practiced some walk pulls. To finish off a ride, we walked down to get the mail. And there was a nice flat area in the woods, so we did some more posting trot. So we made it to the mailbox and when I'm getting the mail out of the mailbox, I always make sure that I open and close the mailbox very slowly because sunshine sometimes spooks at the creaking noise it makes. And once I pulled a plastic bag out of the mailbox and ever since then she's been quite afraid that there's going to be a plastic bag. But today she did very good and I also always talk to her a lot when I'm getting the mail, that way she doesn't get afraid. Then we rode back to the pen and loosened the reins and let her stretch her nose out. And I took my feet out of the stirrups and stretched my legs out. Gave her lots of pats and tell her what a good girl she was. Then I dismounted and gave her yet more pats and rolled out my stirrup irons. Then we headed inside and of course got the good pony all untacked. Here I spent forever looking for my favorite hoof pick because you know that's the only one I can use and then I picked up the grooming box and found it underneath so thought I'd include that. And then I once again picked out her hooves. Alright so that's about it. We had a great ride today. Sunshine was such a good pony and I was a good rider so I'm super proud of both of us and I had a lot of fun making this video and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and I'll see you next time. Bye!